Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Earth Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts related to science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we will solve this question on lead code regarding DNA pattern recognition. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads: We are given a table called samples with three different columns: sample ID, DNA sequence, and species. The sample ID is the unique key for this table. Each row contains a DNA sequence represented as a string of characters A, T, G, C and the species it was collected from. Biologists are studying basic patterns in DNA sequences. Write a solution to identify sample ID with the following patterns. Sequences that start with A, T, G. Sequences that end with either T, A, A, T, A, G or T, G, A. Sequences containing the motif A, T, A, T and sequences that have at least three consecutive Gs. Return the result table ordered by sample ID in ascending order. Okay, let's go through this example. Here we have seven different sample IDs, their DNA sequences and who they belong to. Now if you look at this DNA sequence, so it starts with ATG, so yes, ends with TAA, cool. Does it have ATAT? No. And does it have at least three Gs consecutively? No. So it should be 1, 1, 0, 0, right? Similarly, we can do that for everything else. And if we look at our output, this is what we have. Has start, has stop, has 80, 80, no, and has GGG. So basically, to solve this question, what we need to do is we need to use the regular expression. We need to match patterns in the column DNA sequence. How can we go ahead and do that? So since we read all the columns, so from this table, from this table called I think this is called samples. Let us keep all the columns, select star, and then let's start with using the if. So if something matches, right? So if DNA sequence column matches a specific regular expression pattern. So reg regular expressions is basically a way where you can write complex patterns to match various strings. You can think of it as just an advanced version of using the like operator in SQL. So you need to write if name of the column and then reg xp to make sure SQL knows that we are comparing a regular expression pattern. And then it says the first one is the first column is has start. So it says starts with ATG. The way to do that is you need to have a caret sign. So caret sign and it means Anything that follows this is basically the pattern, the value in DNA sequence should start with. So it should start with ATG. So if the pattern is masked, then you return 1, else you return 0. And this should be aliased as has start. Okay, let me just you know run this for this one particular column and let's see what do we get in our output. So now if you look at this output, what we have here is, we have these DNA sequence and since it starts with ATG, so you have 1, it does not start, so you have 0 and so on. Now let's go ahead and make the remaining 3 columns. So the second column should be, right, so let me just copy this entire thing because we need to basically write the similar stuff again and again. So instead of just repeating, paste it. So if your DNA sequence end with either TAA, TAG or TGA, the way to make sure that a string ends with something is to use the dollar sign. Now it says it should end with either TAA, TAG or TGA. So you need to group them. So the way to group in regular expression is using parentheses. And then it should be TAA or, so the or is defined by a pipe character. So or TAG or TGA. Okay, so if any of this is what matches with the end part of the DNA sequence, then you assign this as has a stop, right? So this is what we are calling the second column has stop. Then let's look at TAT, whether they have this or not. So similarly, if I go ahead and copy this entire thing, and it says we need to make sure that whether this ATAT is present in this. So all we need to do is you just need to write a T A T and it will match the entire pattern to see whether this is present or not. And this should be aliased as has A T A T. And finally, at least three consecutive G's. So
so again you need to have g g g so if there are three or more so it will match all of those and it should be aliased as has g g g and the final output should be ordered by sample id in ascending order so order by sample id okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah, this is accepted if we look at our output and match it with the expected output our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases or not this is accepted and this is how to do it so yeah tricky question but if you know about regular expressions and how to write regular expression it is not that difficult all we did was from this table called samples we matched four different patterns firstly whether it starts with this pattern atg or not then secondly either it ends with taa tag or tga then whether atat is contained in this dna sequence or not and finally at least three consecutive g's so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better more efficient solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video